Hey, welcome everyone. Tom here from Park Avenue Trading, your chief dealer, keeping you sane in these insane markets. It is Sunday at 8 o'clock in the morning on September 22nd, 2024. And I want to do this quick little, uh, well, not, it's not going to be a quick video. Um, I'm going to have to do some, I'm doing my weekly analysis. So I decided that I'm going to add to the site, you know, some weekly trading analysis. Uh, the one thing that I, you know, that I, I caution, I was cautioning myself about is that when I do my weekly analysis, I understand that it's fluid. It's very, very fluid. It's a fluid market. And um, I think that, you know, you have to keep that in, into consideration. So what what can I give you uh, that would be some of some value? Um, the, the, the way I'm looking at this is I could give you try, try to give you some milestones on like what the marketplace needs to do in order to get to the next objective. And also if it pulls back, where is the, the support points uh, that we can look at, you know, to, to say, all right, we're an overall, you know, bullish trend on the weekly pull back to here. And then a break of that would be a warning sign that the trend is changing. Okay. So, I don't see many people um, in the YouTube space doing this. Um, and I'm trying to get, you know, a foothold uh, to, to get my brand out there to, to show that, look, you know, uh, this guy offers some value. So I'm hopefully, you know, <laughs> this will do it. It's going to be, you know, I'm going to I'm going to do the analysis because I do it for myself. And then I'm going to just put up quick points for you. So that you can well not quick points but they're, they're going to take a, they're going to take me a while to you know um, actually project the points forward. I'm going to be giving trend reactionary numbers out so that you can have them. They they usually last you know a month month and a half. So but as the market changes as the volatility changes, the TRNs trend reactionary numbers change a little bit with them. So if there's any updates, I'll give you the updates to them. So. Hopefully this will be a, a positive addition to what I'm, I'm trying to accomplish. And my ultimate goal is uh, really trying to reach as many people as I can, show my trading, my proprietary trading systems to them, offer them, you know, uh, some help in helping them, you know, make money trading. Now, I saw a recent YouTube ad, I thought it was really interesting. You know, a guy was actually attacking Forex, which, which is his but he's trying he's trying to basically pull people away that are losing money trading forex and he's trying to convince them to trade i guess stock options you know like that's any less <laughs> less difficult to do you know that in in trading there's nothing that is easy you know everything you know requires work and, and you know there's no push button profits here you know um it requires like a steely resolve and it really re re requires like um, a good inventory of you knowing who you are as a person and it comes down to you know admitting you know that you're wrong at sometimes you know you, you have to have an ifw stop and ifw is i'm effing wrong stop so I'm thinking that this might be um, a very good addition to this channel. Uh, please tell me what you think. Put it in the comments below. Um, I'm going to go over uh, just really what I pay attention to. Um, I pay attention to dollar yen, Australian dollar, euro dollar, but euro dollar has been really dead for a long time. Sterling yen, euro yen. I primarily trade the crosses because that's really where my expertise is in, in crosses as chief dealer of a couple of banks in New York. And, you know, I worked for DG Bank as their chief currency trader for a while. And then I went back to Costa Spermatorino and became senior vice president, you know, um, just bullshit title anyway. Um, it's like show me the money, you know, at that time. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do those for the weekly. Just understand that you know it's it's fluid. The markets always change. I will put updates. You you know you gotta watch my daily analysis. My daily analysis 
gives the points for the day that I'm looking at um, for support resistance. And I try to project prices off of that. We've had some really great success. I mean, I've had some great success with that. And also people on the channel following me have had, you know, really good success. I'm really happy to hear that. So if you like what you see, please like, subscribe, share the videos far and wide because we want to build a big audience. And I'll start off with the weekly analysis of dollar yen and try to explain it as best I can and as curt as I can. You know, I'm not gonna try to be verbose with it, but just remember everything's fluid and the points are the points and that's just what they are. And uh, let's take it from there. So let's hang on and I'll start with dollar yen. Okay, so the initial analysis, this is the trend reactionary numbers for dollar yen. So you could write them down, throw them up on your chart. Um, we have basically a break point at 147.50. So in other words, the trend reaction number that's saying dollar yen is going back up to 150, 151 is a break of 147.50. Uh, it, you know, you got to you got to follow the daily analysis because now dollar yen is not in an uptrend yet. It is not. It needs to break 147.50 to basically start to say that it's going into a, a bullish tone. Um, you know, we have to be fooled. You know, as a tech as a technician, I really don't care about like fundamental analysis. But you know, the interest rate uh, cut in the United States, and there's probably going to be another one. Uh, really is. Is first of all, it's very foolish because of, of what's happening in the U.S. economy. I mean, this is if it's just a political motive, it's really stupid for them to do it because it's only going to ignite inflation more. It's not going to lower interest rates. I mean, marginally, but people still can't borrow money because they don't have the income. The only the only way that you could really seriously cut rates is there should have been an increase in production of fossil fuels here because there's plenty of them. Um, and that would spur job growth. And then that would, you know, then you could say, okay, we can, you know, the, we could pay for this, you know, but I'm going off on a tangent. So let's just stay with the technic technicals. So we need to break 147.50 in order to show this thing is in an upward movement. Right now, there is TRNs at 143.14. 141, the figure. 138, 139 the figure, um, 137 the figure, 134, 83, 130, 74. So what exactly does that mean? Now I'm going to go into the internal numbers. This is a six hour chart, by the way, um, just so I could <clears throat> get enough data in there, but also separate it so you guys can see the breakdowns. Now I'm going to go into the internal data, give the weekly points in between these kind of points to basically say, okay, this is the resistance. This is the support for the week. So hang on. Let me, let me gather that. All right. So weekly resistance coming up this week, we have 145.06. Then right behind it, we have the trend reaction number of 145, uh, 145.50. The support this week is 143.44. And then right behind that, we got a TRN at 143.14. If it breaks that, then there's another weekly support right at the TRN at 141.07. If it turns down from there and breaks this uh, low, we're going to 138.97. So that's, pre that's pretty much the weekly market map. Uh, come over to the channel to watch the daily um, you know, trade levels. Because I, I focus in on the day. And I, as I'm saying that everything that I'm doing here is really fluid. So it's going to change. I mean, the, the, the TRNs are the TRNs. They're not changing. Okay. Market structure will change in context. And the, the one thing we have to understand is we, we don't want to get fooled by, you know, what's happening right now. You know, we got to keep these levels in, in the back of our mind so that we understand what, what the marketplace is whispering in our ear. So let's move on over to sterling dollar. All right, sterling dollar has finally turned into an upward trend. It's been a dog, 
Definitely has been, but we're going to find we have TRNs at 131.46, which is support, 130.16, 129.42, and 128.06. Don't really expect it to dip down. I've been saying uh, the past few weeks, if you've been watching the daily analysis, that, you know, sterling in, I didn't expect sterling in the full, sterling in, sterling dollar to fall out of bed. Forget sterling in. I, sorry. Sterling dollar to fall out of bed. Um, so really the first hurdle that we need to get through is a, a TRN at 133.75. And then we have weekly resistance at 135.40. Right behind it's another trend reaction number for sterling dollar at 135.66. And then another weekly resistance at 136.63. If you could, if we could get a pullback to, you know, even around this 132, you know, say 50 level, 60 level, then make sure that you go to the daily analysis because I have points there for the day. So hopefully this is not confusing you. Um, I'm just giving you the levels. You know, there's definitely a decent amount of support at 132, you know, say 50. Okay. And then right behind that's like 131. Actually, the TRN is 131.47, but it's probably, um, yeah, I would have to stick with that. Uh, now, if if we can get through this 133.75 level, okay, then we're heading towards 135.40, and that's a pretty strong weekly resistance. There'll be some profit taking there. They're going to push it back down, but you're going to start to see that the the lows are getting higher and eventually sterling should break and hit like 137 20 higher tier in all right so let's move on to uh sterling yen all right sterling yen has not has not moved into an uptrend yet it needs to get over 193.70 in order to say okay it's starting to shake off that bearish tone that it's that it's had it's not there yet um there is a resistance point at 192.62 that's an important level to watch this week we could ride up to that touch it and then get whacked back down it's all going to depend on dollar yen um right now my bias for dollar yen is that it's going to consolidate and it's going to the yen is going to get stronger again that's what I'm thinking right now. I don't ever just, you know, I watch price action to determine that. So 192.62 is a really important price. We have a trend reactionary number on the downside of support is 190.80. Below that's 188.80. Uh, Below that is 185, like 185.50, then 182, and then the big one is 179.83, all right? So now if we could crawl up above, break this 193, we have another point. Let me just close this down right here. 194, uh, let's see, what is it? 190, 195.08. If it breaks 195.08, then we're heading towards the two. Now, there's going to be a lot of to and fro in between. There's a lot of airspace between that 195 and 200, 500 points. So, again, follow the the dailies that I'm going to be doing, the daily analysis that I'm going to be doing because I give the points out on the daily because I use these as like a macro view. And then my dailies, you know, shrink down to the micro view so I can try to pinpoint where I want to get short, where I want to get long, and I put those out in my videos. All right, so um, I'll leave that here. We're at 14 minutes. I know you guys, you know, get bored with this stuff. So um, hopefully if this helps, please, if you like what you see, make a comment. Tell me, you know, what you think, what you're seeing on your charts for the weekly analysis. Also, like and subscribe. Head on over to Park Avenue Trading. Get yourself a free ebook on... Uh, three-step book on for, uh, uh, price breakouts. Um, also, if you like, again, what you're seeing, please share the video far and wide. I want to build a big trading community. I look forward to seeing you soon. I'll do the Euro analysis uh, weekly, a little bit later, uh, 
today, perhaps just a separate video on Euro Yen. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.